school students accused of a prom night rape were back in court today and have been given bond. Local 10 News reporter Leah Motohone is live in Miami to explain this one. Well, Constance, you might remember that when these teens first had their first appearance in front of a judge, they were ordered held without bond. But that today has changed. Let's take you to some video inside of the courtroom today. 19 year olds Adrian Machine, Luis Rosello and Julio Fernandez. They all face two counts of sexual battery. Now, Fernandez and Rosello were given a $15,000 bond with house arrest. They must be on a GPS monitor, must stay on total lockdown. Stay away order is in place. They must stay away from the alleged victim. And of course, the three other defendants in this case, they cannot consume any alcohol, cannot consume any drugs and they also agreed to random drug testing. Now documents also show that Fernandez must turn over his iPhone for forensic investigation. Machine was also present in court today, but his hearing was rescheduled for tomorrow. He is expected though to be released on a similar agreement. Now all of these charges stem from an incident that police say happened around 2 a.m. on May 1st at the Quartzo Hotel in Bell Harbor in the overnight hours after the Braddock high school prom where most of these children attended. Now documents allege that 17 year old Adan Valdez, the youngest of these defendants, sexually assaulted a 21 year old woman with the handle of an umbrella while Machine and Fernandez filmed the encounter. Now police say that Machine inserted a marijuana cigarette into the victim and lit it while Rosello blew on it and police say that the victim was incapacitated the entire time. Now as we mentioned there is the youngest of these defendants 17 year old Adan Valdez. He was ordered to be held on secure detention that took place in juvenile court though the state does intend to file charges against him as an adult. We are live in Miami today. Leanne Morejon, Local 10 News.